Okay, he's probably on there. Hello, everybody. I got a package today. But first, let me say, you know, I've got some new subs out there. And the last few videos I've done have been uh, mail calls and package openings and stuff. And I'm kind of worried that y'all are going to think I'm a damn bum or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the case you know uh, I've been just a little bit bummed out lately because my grandson moved away and he was helping me work on my shop and that kind of bummed me out and uh, I've been slacking off on the videos because I'm trying to get my shop together trying to finish up my last bit of uh, like my old hickory projects and stuff because I don't want to go into the new shop with uh, you know start out behind so but I still got to make the uh, mail call videos because uh, you know if somebody sends you something you need to do the mail call video and by the way when gear nuts sent me that big file knife he sent me a box full of Kydex stuff and Kydex tools and all that. And me and Charlie did a video for that. That was the last video we done together. And all you could hear was my neighbor's chainsaw. Uh, so I didn't post it. But, you know, as soon as I get my shop together, I'll get back to making some shop videos and stuff. And, uh, so, but I got a package today from uh, Jake at Dark Wolf Knives, and he swears it's full of dirty laundry, and I ain't gonna tell you what kind of dirty laundry, but if y'all know Jake, it might be. So, <laughs> oh, and it's awful heavy for a knife. He's, it's supposed to be a knife that he made me. So, let's see what's in here now. Scalpel. But the guy at the post office pointed out to me that there was a knife point sticking out the side of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's in this box here. Boom. <laughs> well, I don't see no dirty laundry so I think I'm safe there so he sent me some some cards and he's been uh, helping me get my shop ready you know tell me what I need and everything moose hide 70 plus years old a big chunk of moose hide. A USB cable. <laughs> A kydex sheath. Ooh, what the... Jake Parker folding knife. Nice. You see that Jay Parker there? Nice. Sharp too. That's nice.
says bushcraft knife blanks do not heat treat I'm scared of getting my hind end cut off here Planer blades sent me a mess of those. Those are gonna make nice knives. He's helping me get started here. Lifesavers. Looks like he threw a whole handful of lifesavers in here. Well, that's better than dirty socks. Must be handle material. I don't know. I believe I can make handles out of that. Unless it's something he made and then it'll go on my shelf. Ah, a full tang meat cleaver. Ten ninety five, three thirty seconds. Merry Christmas, Tom. Piece of 1095 steel. I can get a, a couple, three good knives out of that. Good lord. Another big piece of planer blade. I don't even know what all this stuff is. handle for something or handle material something here's another one smooth handle that must be file handles or something I don't know some more wood some antler golly more wood Blue and black micarta. More wood. I would say that's maple. Curled maple. I'm digging all around the main thing in here. I'm trying not to pick it up. <laughs> we got some dark wood for handles. More handle wood. A rasp. Gonna go in the drill press. Rasp. Sand and sand and wheel, flap wheel that'll go in the drill press. Some more antler, some more dark wood. A couple more cards. Some drill bits to get me started. Some quarter inch drill bits. Here's some more cards. Some more wood. What's in this little Al Altoids tin? Oh wow. Got a little light. A button compass. And a piece of ferro rod. And a band-aid. It's a little survival kit. That's cool. And this, he shouldn't have done. Well, he shouldn't have done none of this, but he did anyways. He asked, I told him he shouldn't do it. And he said, I'm sorry, I didn't ask you. <laughs> so, but he sent me a digital angle gauge like he uses so that I can gauge, get the uh, angle on my bevels right. Thank you so much. I was pricing those and he said, don't buy one. And this, the piece de resistance. It's in a leather sheath. Let me scoot up here. Look at this, in a leather sheath. It's got my initials on the bottom of it. 
antler handles. It says Jay Parker on it. Green diamond wood, I believe he said it was. Brass bolster. Steel uh, butt plate, maybe? With my initials on it. Hammered. Beautiful. He said that this Kydex sheath was for it, too. Whenever I'm like hiking in the rain or whatever, out in the rain, I can use the Kydex sheath. Or the leather sheets. So there you go. <laughs> Beautiful. I've been waiting on this thing. Oh my gosh. It's got a mirror polished edge on it. That's beautiful. Yes, ain't it? That is just beautiful. Hey, there wasn't no dirty socks or dirty underwear in there. No bombs, no nothing. There wasn't nothing blew up. Oh, I'm so tickled. <sighs> Thank you, Jake. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I appreciate everything you sent me, and I appreciate all the help that you've been giving me in getting this shop going. Uh, I'm way ahead of the game because of Jake helping me. Uh, I almost feel like I know what I'm doing. But I tend to run everything by him just to make sure that it's not a mistake. Oh, that's great. Jake, I sure appreciate the great package and all the help. And, man. Custom folder from Jake. And of course, I'll put a link below. They call it half cocked. Oh, God. Well, that one just laid claim to me. <laughs> that one's mine now for sure. <laughs> but I'll get to my. I'll get, everybody stay calm. I'll get to making some videos. I'm, I'm not a bum that all I do is open mail, okay? I'll get to making some videos. I just got to get caught up a little bit and. Thank you, Jake. I sure appreciate it. I appreciate everybody out there. I appreciate my subscribers. And was you going to ask Jake something? Yeah, I just wanted to ask one question there, Jake. Uh, what are you wearing, Jake, from Dark Wolf Knives? <laughs> what are you wearing, Jake, from State Farm? <laughs> Jake from Dark Wolf Knives. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching.